very much. We had another keyboard. Um, Much bigger. Ma well, then, so we have <laughs> it is, um, it's on its way uh, to our hotel. <laughs> it didn't quite make it from, where were we yesterday? <laughs> Between Prague and Munich. Yes. You, um, so we, we flew, we got in yesterday from a Europe tour, and <laughs> we made it um, after a I would say very impressive sprint through the Munich airport, and um, but uh, and everything else made it except for one keyboard. So we have this very adorable replacement because <laughs> we thought it would come today, and I was all planning on like running back to the hotel, and then I got an email that said um, that I can trace my keyboard, and I saw that it was like way out in the suburbs <laughs> somewhere, um, and the driver's name is Soner. Um, he looks very pleasant in the photo that they sent me. Um, so I have a lot of information about the person delivering my, the keyboard, um, but it is not with us yet. <laughs> midnight. By midnight, they say. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So Lauren and I get to be really extra close on this. sound check we lost to the drum set uh, we didn't lose the, the drum set that we were planning on borrowing became unavailable <laughs> so we had a four-hour scramble to find a drum set and missing a keyboard it was a very exciting show today. Um, I think all the adrenaline of this afternoon I'm just gonna channel into this song <laughs> this one very quiet song <laughs> This is a, um, so I, I feel like I've written a lot of songs that might be called love songs, um, but I wanted to write a, a want song, because um, I felt like that was a different beast of a song, and sort of, um, I think for a woman, maybe sort of radical to, to, to just say, I want you. <laughs> um, so I thought I wanted to write a song that, that said I, I want you. That was the directive. Um, and it came out this. Between love and fear of loneliness. 
called a marxophone. Um, does anyone know what that is? Um, it's, yeah, it sounds like that, um, but it, um, it's, it's kind of like a harpsichord with little buttons, um, and it would be, it would look so cool on stage, and I would spend half of the set retuning it for a song, so we, we sampled it and put it on this keyboard, but it's, kind of, it's such a nice sound. I don't get the... I wanna kinda wanna just like throw it and everything and say but I mean take it off the keyboard for now. <laughs> um I have a, a new record um that uh, thank you for the boots. <laughs> they mean so much. Um I it's called Goners, um, which I discovered after when I, I did all these interviews in Europe and Every interview began with this. So Laura, tell us about your record, Go Nurse. <laughs> <laughs> and as mature as I believe myself to be, I cannot stop giggling every time. Um, they also, also, so there's, I've never had a record, I'm talking so much I realized during the set, but um, it's, you are nice people to talk to. <laughs> and I, even though it's very one-way conversation, I um, I'd also never had a slang word as a record title, and um, and so there's not a really great translation for the slang word goners, and so people would be like, and this word means the condemned. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's a lot of like very bleak reads on. On what is actually like a pretty bleak record, but I think, um, anyway, um, here's the title track to the record called Goners. <laughs> 